feel too chilly outside today. Winter is coming and with it come the fire hazards of the season. Tonight we're going to have some must know tips to help protect you and your family this winter. Good evening everyone. I'm JB Buno. Thanks for joining us here on the late edition in high definition. Every year, nearly 30% of house fires occur between the months of December and February, and nearly half of fire related fatalities at home happen in that same time span, making fire safety this time of year vital. WNY TV's Joe Melillo find out how to avoid the dangers of the winter season. He joins us live in the studio with the story tonight. Joe. JB, Christmas lights and candles are beautiful decorations this time of year, but they also have the potential to burn down your home. To avoid this danger, here are a few simple tips to make sure your holiday stays merry. Trees, lights, candles, they're all part of the holiday spirit, but nothing can dampen that spirit more than a fire. Although we might want to go all Clark W. Griswold on our home, Honey, I think I know what's it's better if we listen to the professionals. Outlets, uh, extension cords, and all the lights and everything, they draw a lot of power, you know, so you just have to be careful as far as fire safety goes, not, you know, having combustibles too close to that. The best thing to do to avoid overusing an outlet is to use a surge protector. If your lights are outside, make sure to use a GFI or ground fault interrupter. It's the best way to avoid being shocked. Each year, an average of 260 Christmas trees catch on fire. If you're using a live tree, uh, just keep it watered and keep it alive as long as possible. Uh, you know, a dry tree is uh, just, you know, a fire waiting to happen with any kind of heat against it. LED lights are recommended to avoid Christmas tree fires. One of the main differences between the older technology like halogen light bulbs and the newer technology like the LED light bulbs is the heat that they generate. Now, I'm only standing a few inches away from this halogen light bulb, yet the heat is very intense as opposed to the LED light bulb where I can actually put my thumb right on the light bulb itself. Now, imagine that on your tree. They do use a lot less heat and take, make a lot less heat even on a tree, so they are a lot safer in the homes. They do last a lot longer, and they have come down in price, too. Now a tree can dry out in as little as one week, if not consistently watered. Live in the studio, Joe Melillo, WENY TV News.